Well, hello. How are you, my friends? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I have been working on a project. Um, it is a labor of love. Um, do you know someone who has trouble flying or traveling or even if they don't have trouble, someone who's going somewhere, someone who is going to be on a long trip, you know, a lot of times all that travel can get to a person. So I got this little book at the Dollar Tree. It was a dollar twenty-five. Sixty sheets in it. I took each individual sheet and glued it to the next one. So I ended up with thirty different sheets, and this is what I came up with. Um, I also found this little tin at the Dollar Tree. Um, it's for pencils and such. Let me get you down here so I can actually see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, so uh, in here. I have made a swatch um, and these are the things that I'm going to carry in here when we go do any traveling. So um, I was looking for something to where I could just put a little bit of paint in here and I could have made my own but why? I think that belongs in there. Um, so uh, one second. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so, um, you know these little silicone things that you put, like, chocolate in or whatever? I got this in the baking section. You can get them in all kinds of sections. Um, one of the ladies at Michael's, I think it was, a young girl, was, like, trying to help me find just those little tiny rectangles that you put a little bit of paint in. So I can make my own palette in here. Um, they didn't have any. Sadness. Uh, but she's like, well, what if you cut this and put it in there? And I was like, you know what? That's not a bad idea. So I cut off three strips and I cut them down so that they would fit in here nicely. And I made myself a little swatch. I can also mix here. I was going to glue this in, but then I decided I would mix in there if I need to mix. Bring a water paintbrush. This one's by Prima. This one has been used a lot, but you just fill it full of water and you're ready to go. I also would like to have a pen, so I'm going to bring my favorite pen anywhere we go this summer or winter or whenever, or even if I just want to go out and paint somewhere out in the field. Why not, right? Okay, so here's a Sharpie pen. I love those. I also got a Bic uh, mechanical pencil. That's nice to have a little pencil with you. I got a little uh, pipette. This one is used. But um, I got a little one of these. Excuse me, I'm going to move you over just a little bit really quick. Okay. So uh, I got one of these for in case I am somewhere. I have like my water bottle or whatever. And I, this thing runs out of. Excuse me. If this runs out of water and I need to fill it up, I can just and fill it back up again if I don't have running water. Because it is hard to fill it up if you're just trying to pour it from something. But this is my labor of love because often I'm like, dude, I would love to be able to just bring a little bit of something with me. And there are paints that are set up and ready for you to take. I want to do my own and this is so this has been so easy and so I have some paints that I already put together um, those paints are from uh, the Hobby Lobby the Hobby Lobby store those are really good paints to take and do whatever you want to with so what I did was each every two pieces I just glued them down glued them together to make it just a little bit more stable with just like a, a stick, a stick glue. That's all. And so they, I did that one day. Then another day I took and I cut up a bunch of different kinds of watercolor paper and um, 
some multi-purpose paper because you guys know I love my multi-purpose paper and I just tacked it on just the corners with some yes paste so just the corners are tacked so if I want to rip these out it would be easy so all these different colors different kinds of paper I can do whatever I want I also went through and made some backgrounds um, and washes and like this one did another cool thing. I'm going to tell you about that in a minute, but I made this. This is watercolor pencil from Derwent. So I can use that. I can also have some little tissues and such in here so they don't get all over everything. But um, made some little pencil marks with uh, the Derwent pencils so that I can um, watercolor those. Just as something to give me a little bit of a, a jolt if I'm like needing something to do, wanting something artistic to do, but I just don't know what at that moment. Now I have a couple of different things. That's better. Now we got some light on the subject. Um, I have a couple little things that are it already started in here, like uh, this little wash. I started a wash and then I put some extra color in there. Who knows what I might do with that at the moment. Um, did some little do doodles with some watercolor pencils again um, just a little flat wash just to see just to give me a few things to start off if I just am like looking at that blank page and being like I'm you know some people get on planes and they get stressed out or they don't want to be there whatever and so it's just it's hard to focus on anything and you can put a bunch of pictures of things that you might want to draw in your phone or um, a little booklet if you have a little booklet like this like these I got these there was a package of three of these at the Dollar Tree you could write down ideas for sketching you could write down ideas for painting you can just look out the window and paint something that you see or just put watercolor on paper and just watch what happens with it. Now we're getting into the good stuff. Um, I also have paper to where I can just like mess around on paper if I want. But this is one of the things my daughter had said, uh, why not bring a set of watercolor paint brushes? Okay, so if you're, if you're going anywhere, a lot of times you don't wanna carry around a bunch of stuff. So carrying around a bunch of watercolor paintbrushes to me is uh, daunting because this is the ones I like to carry. <laughs> this is the ones I want to use. And um, these are Derwent ink tints. This is neutral gray. But um, what I did instead was, <laughs> I just thought this was pretty cool. Um, I have these pages in here where I just randomly grabbed them out of my little thing. I know I probably didn't get all of them, but um, randomly grabbed them. So then you can take your watercolor paintbrush. I think this one's a little bit, it's not really even wet. Um, you can take your watercolor paintbrush. It does, this one doesn't have anything in it really, but um, you can just kind of grab some of this and then you can paint with it. How cool is that? How cool is that? Because uh, Ink Tents, Derwent into Ink Tents is 100% pigment. I'm sure there's a binder in there as well, but it's pigment. So you can pick the pigment up and paint with it. Plus I still have these in here if I needed more. But these are so small that yeah, I think just that little bit of paint could do something fun it may not turn out to be something amazing but it might <coughs> it could turn out to be something really cool so I did several of these they're all different every last one of them is different this one I just doodled on at page with one of the markers or the pencils again another doodle on the page and then I did another one of these but look at how fun this would be for a child um, if you have a little kid in your life and they want to have, uh, you wanted to make them something special, instead of going out and buying some 
book that someone else put together for you, you can just get some, uh, I always talk about this, the B paper, the Jumbo Artist Pad, B paper, B inspired, mixed media. That is good stuff. This is good paper. And you can cut one of these sheets there, um, nine by 12. So you could get like a ton of sheets, little sheets like this, like four of them, not four, <laughs> nine, depending on the way you cut them, you could get several out of each one and you could just tack them down in a little dollar 25 pad and then put some color on there. You can get a small set of these Derwent at uh, Michael's and it's only like 20 bucks. And so then you have them, you can do whatever you want to with them, but you can also make a couple of these little books for little children in your life. How fun would that be if you made a little mini composition book and uh, glue these together, each one of these glue them together so they're a little stronger. And then um, take and put a little piece of the paper Tack it down over here and then maybe take several different little colors and just make some little colors and then give your kids a watercolor paint, a water paintbrush and be like, here, make a pictures, make some pictures. You could take it to the doctor's office. You could take it to church. That would keep kids quiet for quite a while in church. Um, how much fun would that be? And it's fun to put stuff together for people too, especially if you love these people and you want to do something kind for them. Why not? And then you can make some little things like this. Like each one of those are made with a different color of Derwent ink tense pencils. So you could later on take your watercolor pencil and blend them all out, make one big muddy mess, or you could blend each one, or you could just whatever your little heart desires. Then make some little pages like this. This is super easy to do. I have struggled to do this. This is a wash. I have struggled to do this for years, but it's super easy. I will have a video out about that soon. Um, there's several other people who do the wash. Um, but yeah, this is my thoughts on this process of just trying to be, um, there's so often that we go on little trips or whatever and I'm like dude I wish I had just something to take with me so that I have so I could do some art along the way because sometimes you just get bored and you just need a, a minute to yourself right there it's all wrapped up in one and I am ready to go I'm ready to go out and do some fun stuff this summer because summer is just beginning and so I'm gonna get out there I'm going to do some doodling, some painting, and see what happens. And then if I run out of paint in this little guy, I can always go right back in here and fill them back up again. Or maybe change them out with other colors. Whatever I decide, decide to do, it'll be fine. So let me know what you think about this. Do you think this would be a great idea to do for a loved one of yours? Maybe you could do this for your friends. Maybe you do this for yourself. Maybe you have trouble with, with being on an airplane or have trouble with, with long journeys. Or sometimes you just get bored and you want to go outside and you want to paint. You just want to try something. Try it. It's not going to hurt anything. It doesn't cost much at all. I mean, this is a dollar twenty-five. Dollar twenty-five. Um, you can get watercolor paint brushes, water paint brushes, you can get them pretty much everywhere now. Um, I recommend going into the uh, cooking section, baking section, because they usually have them in packets of four, four or more, and they're usually pretty ex inexpensive. I got this pencil with, in a huge pack of pencils for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. These I got at Walmart. Um, yeah. This all together was probably less than 20 bucks to make. So I would love to hear what you decide, what you think about this. Is this a good idea? Would you try this? Would you, um, would you be happy if someone made something like this for you to give to you for a birthday or just for happy summer? Get out there and paint. Yeah. I would love it. I'm going to love using this and I will be making more of them for my friends and family members. 
Anyhow, I'm going to leave you with that. Have a great day. I hope uh, everything's coming up roses in your area. Um, yeah, God bless. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Talk to you soon. Bye.